back on the track. The first heat and the first round of the women's 200 meters. Going for England in this one, Gerald Dean McLeod, Bertfield Harriers, Aileen McGilvery should have been going for Scotland, but we're told she's had to withdraw. No further details. Actually, as the afternoon wears on here in Victoria, it's getting cooler. And as you can see from the stadium flags, the wind begins to gust. But it doesn't appear to get uh, down to ground level. First heat. And the new Commonwealth champion, 400 meters champion, Kathy Freeman of Australia, goes into lane number six. Dahaney in two, one is empty, the Jamaican. McGilvery, not starting. The Scott. Trumasi of Canada in lane four. McLeod of England in lane five. Freeman, Australia in lane six. Govinda Sami, Malaysia in seven. And Yubar of Nigeria in lane number eight. Kathy Freeman, only 21. Wonderful win in the 400 meters yesterday. I'm looking for a double and quite capable of winning this gold medal as well when the time comes. The gold medal four years ago in Auckland in the, Commonwealth and the Australian relay team, four by 100. It's the reigning Australian 200 meter champion has been competing on the European circuit for most of the season and competing well. That's the Haney of Canada on the inside. Jamaican, best time this season is 22.80, fifth in the 100 meters final yesterday. So Massey, the Canadian, only 19, 24.02, her best time this season. Geraldine McLeod of Birchfield Harriers in England. Best time this season, 23.52. Fifth in this year's three A's championship. Kathy Freeman, the new 400 meter champion from Australia. The Australian 200 meter champion. Lane seven, Govinda Sami of Malaysia. 23.56, her best time this season. Out on the outside, Ubar of Nigeria, 23.32, her best time this season. She's 21. The first three go through to the next round with the four fastest losers. The next round will be the semi-final. Kathy Freeman very relaxed. Her boyfriend is working alongside us with the Australian television team. He's a journalist. They've got a home in London. And Kathy spends a lot of time in England, where she makes her base during the European season. The Haney of Jamaica drawn on the inside. Printed well in the 100 meters, she was fit. The Canadian, Massey in lane uh, four. Only 19. The first three only can feel secure. And know they've got a place in the mark. semi final. So check again, lane one empty. It's a Haney, Jamaica in two. Lane three unoccupied, lane four, Chumasi of Canada, lane five, McLeod of England, lane six, Freeman Australia, lane seven, Givinda Sami Malaysia, lane eight, Ubar, Nigeria. Now, 
There's a bit of a flyer there by McLeod. She got away really well. And now Kathy Freeman beginning to show her true ability. On the outside is Ubar of Nigeria. It's Freeman off the bend. Ubar in second place and going well on the inside. The Haney of Jamaica. McLeod in fourth place. Freeman eases down, wins it easily. The Haney in second place. A photograph for third between Ubar and McLeod. Very, very close indeed. The first three only go through into the final. Plus the four fastest losers. Nick, Kathy Freeman's uh, boyfriend, working alongside us. We're way up in the uh, sky. We call this a sky box. We're so far above the track, you wouldn't believe it. It's also a wind tunnel. <laughs> right at the top. Cafe Freeman coming away. Well clear. Dehaney, Jamaica in second place. Now who got third? Very close. Very close indeed between McLeod of England on the far side and Ubar of Nigeria. When well, we're looking at this, actually, it'll be worthwhile seeing if we can slow it down. Oh, it's the close-up shot of Kathy Freeman. Lovely action. Effortless. No sort of powerhouse. Some of these sprinters nowadays run off strength. This is where she eases down, throttles back, and strides home in total comfort. Alan Stray of Scotland, seventh place at 15.25 meters, brings the event to its conclusion. Check on the uh, result, and Ubar was given third place. Freeman, 22.83. Dehaney of Jamaica, 23.03. Ubar of Nigeria, 23.45. And the cloud of England, the poison sea, with 23-4-7. The four fastest losers from these uh, quarterfinals go through. <laughs>